what's going on you beautiful people of youtube this is mk the truth d-o-d-b-e-n-t we got some very good looking sneakers for us to look at today if you guys are new to the channel come on and join the family also connect to my instagram it is the underscore truth underscore mk also ladies and gentlemen all music is produced by me d-o-d-b and i upload them on this channel as well but before we get started though i gotta tell you that this review is for educational purposes only this is only my analysis and then I get on the body here. So what do I have for you today? The cherry of the cherry. The cherryest of the cherries. When I do like this, I mean that thing of beauty. Anyway, we have the Air Jordan 12 Retro Cherry. Now before we get started, I'm gonna tell y'all some 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 of your some of your people don't even take care of you with this with this right here how do i get this on my stuff and when you go to your brick and mortar or order off the app they don't take care of your your eye stays like this i mean i mean why why boy y'all better wake up anyway this is the beautiful cherry red and i already see a hiccup and speaking of hiccups i hear some people complaining about their early pairs about red bleeding about their uh what it would what it would it would it was something else about the something with the soul let me speak on that right quick y'all see this you see all this you see this little hiccup in the in the white down here the, the the glue or white paste that they're supposed to put down here to uh make this a uh, streamline uh look these shoes are not high and mighty it is still garbage produced products. I don't know when y'all gonna learn that. I don't know why y'all keep trying to pinpoint and poke out, oh, this is done wrong, that's done wrong, that look like trash. These are trash products. Don't let that $200 price point fool you. That's just business, baby. It is still a cheap made 20 to 15, 15 to $20 sneaker. Always keep that in mind. This is obsolete tech. It is a obsolete old sneaker why are we still being charged two hundred dollars i digress anyway beautiful looking sneaker jump boy on the side beautiful red got a little bit of hiccup got a little bit of hiccup right there Ooh, they scratched me a little bit right there but they still look good still a real material on the reptilian print just has the reptilian print stamped on the inside the leather is magnifioso i said it's so soft when I say magnifioso, I mean it's so soft. Anyway, they covered up my eye stays. I believe this is plastic. And I heard some people fussing about that too. But I do believe back in the day, that was plastic as well. So it's true to the OG form. A little bit sharp up here, but you know, those things can happen. Real on the tongue as well. I like to see it. I like to see it. Flip around to the medial size. Shaping looks beautiful. This is a beautiful red and white sneaker. This is one of those red and white sneakers that just goes so hard. Let me go ahead and remove these off of my eye stays. It's plastic, so I don't know why they're protecting it. Looks very, very good. Anyway, white laces, beautiful chrome on the eye stays. Flip around to the boot. You got the 23 with the white square with the red jump boy and Jordan. Of course, quality inspired products. This leather, though. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I mean, it's a thing of beauty. Anyway, these are looking really good aside from my little bit of hiccup. I don't really care about that because they're going on my foot. I use my shoes to wear, not to put up on a counter and showcase them. Anyway, here is the left shoe, but I know we all don't want no hiccups on our shoe. This one looks pretty clean. I don't see anything wrong down here. Uh oh, got a little bit of glue right there, but those are things I don't care about because I know these are cheap made products. Now, speaking of this part here, this is a little bit far back, but once again, these things can happen people there is really no set point for anything but that is a little bit too far back i don't think i've ever seen it this far back that's a little too far back this one is okay this one is running about okay but well, what you're doing to me right there i ain't too mad at it though anyway everything looks really good the leather damn these are man these might be softer than back in the day a lot of plush though it is some padding back here so they can fake you out with a really thin piece of leather but i'm going to say it's, it's pretty good man let me see how thick this leather. oh no that's a thick piece that's a thick piece right there that's what she said that's a thick piece right there oh that's a thick one <laughs> man i'm gonna get canceled anyway these look really good here's the bottom you got the white and black uh zoom uh 
not the zoom but the carbon fiber on the bottom black herringbone traction i love the translucent red because it's a more of a sticky outsole and it's uh very necessary for playing basketball only hiccup is the balance of the drip down from here it's a little bit too far back other than that man they look pretty damn good anyway you let me know what you think about my cherry twills down below beautiful one of the most beautiful red and white sneakers there has ever been created aside from like the chicago joel ones and things like that let me know what y'all think about these down below this is mk the truth d-o-d-b-e-n-t hey man i love y'all we about here